Hey, my name is Cushy, and I love Yu-Gi-Oh, and I also love dragons. So I thought, why not try to make a dragon ruler deck, one that I used back when I was in high school, and make it as good as possible. And I think I've done that. This is my creation. I call this hand rulers, because there is a combo where you get rid of two cards in your opponent's hand. It's pretty disgusting. The first card in the entire deck is Ryu Rand. It's a normal 7 dragon fire. It's important because it being normal allows it to synergize with the Red Eyes engine. And the reason that I'm running Ryuran over cards like Red Eyes Black Dragon or Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, which I think this one's incredibly good, but in a pendulum build, which this is not, uh, is because Ryuran is a fire. And it being a fire means it works with Blaster in the hand and provides you just a little bit more synergy. Not saying that Darks don't have synergy in this deck, they, they do, it's just I think Ryuran is a little bit more synergetic without having to go into the extra deck. Uh, Max C is important in other decks, and most decks run it at 3 anyways, but in this deck it's especially more important because it is a level 2, which allows you to go into your Sprite Elf line, which is extremely important. So important that it's the only card in our extra deck that we run 2 of, because it's that important. Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion allows you to go into Sprite Elf, which is extremely important in this deck. Also allows you to go into Synchro Plays. It's special summonable through the deck from a monster effect. It has a lot going for it. Laundry Dragon Maid in this deck specifically is essentially a draw three. In a sense, you don't immediately get the three cards to your hand, but you get three cards in your graveyard in a 38 card deck of monsters. And those three cards in your graveyard can all be banished for the rulers. So it just like, it's just wow. And you can also interact with your graveyard because you have cards that do that. So it's perfectly synergetic. Also, she is a cutie, isn't she? We got Ringo Worm, the Dragon Guarding the 100 Apples. It is really good in this deck because it's a Dragon Tuner, level 2. And it's just like... It... <sighs> It allows you to go into the hand ruler combo without really needing to use Sprite Elf. And that is amazing that you can do one of the, in my opinion, one of the strongest combos in the entire game. Just like off of like one card, two cards. It's it's nutty. Regardless, Ash Blossom is good in other decks and it's good in this deck for the same reasons. But it also has the advantage of being a level 3 tuner. And we run a lot of 7s. So we can go into a Synchro 10 if our hand just sucks. And we have a 7 on the field and we have an Ash in our hand. We can go into Synchro 10. So she does provide a little bit of advantage there. Also she has 1800 defense. Kashtira Riseheart is a normal summonable monster that banishes a Kashtira from our deck. Banishes 3 cards from our opponent's deck and becomes a level 7. It being 7 synergizes with the deck. Banishing from the opponent's deck is kind of like a disrupt because you can get rid of something that they didn't expect to lose and it might hurt their like way of play. And banishing a Kashtira in our heavy Kashtira line is very important because we run Ogre who we would want to banish their Fenrir if we have like an immediate way to bring him back just because, you know, we have another card that can special summon from our banish pile, Kashtira Monsters, Kashtira Preparations. So I'm going to be taking advantage of that one billion percent. Uh, Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon is a level 6, but if you send a normal monster from your hand or deck, it becomes a level 7. So it's another 7 that you just get on your field for free. And you could banish it from your graveyard, add a Red Eyes Fusion from your deck or graveyard. In the future, that may come up if, um, if a certain dragon magician card comes off the ban list i don't know if it's gonna show it here okay it is <laughs> if this card comes off the ban list we are gonna be playing red eyes fusion but i don't i don't ever think it's coming off the ban list this card is too good it is and it's perfectly synergizes with the deck too we just take out ryuran run red eyes it's it's gg it's over regardless yeah we're not doing the fusion effect yet maybe in the future it'll come up but as of right now no uh bestial magna hunt can add any dragon during the end phase that's reason enough to run it um and one of the big things that i did in this build was cut down on the bestial engine a ton uh i just found more success without having as many bestials as weird as that sounds and although i do run magna hunt and that is the only bestial i think i would ever run i am gonna put in bestial druis worm just so magna hunt could have an end phase search of a disrupt being druis worm that's the only reason other than that, um, 
Yeah, I don't really like the Bestials too much, but they are quite powerful. Redox is okay because you can banish Earth monsters in your graveyard, but besides that, it's one of the weaker ones. I'm running a higher number of Tidal because it could be banished for a Laundry Dragon Maid search, but also because I want to take high priority on banishing the Kashtira package because once they're banished, we could just bring them back. So it's like a reborn from the graveyard. So that's why I'm maxing out on Tidal. Blaster is not super important at the moment, but there is future Dragonfire monsters coming, and they might be good enough that you'll want to incorporate them into the deck. But as of now, Blaster is just searching another Blaster, and that's good enough. Three Tempest, kind of like for uh, Tidal, except Tempest doesn't have a Dragon uh, Wind Search. You could run Quacky Maru Drago. Uh, I'm not running it. You could. It could be even run in the side deck. But yeah, no, we're just running three Tempest just so we can banish the Cash Tears from our graveyard. It just makes the deck quicker and it works more synergetic with everything. Red Eye Soul is like possibly the second reason I'm running the Red Eyes package because it's a hand trap that special summons a Red Eyes Darkness Metal from your deck. And this guy just special summons a dragon from your graveyard. Cash Tear Fenrir just because I'm running the Cash Tear package. But more importantly, in general, with all the Cash Tears, they're just. Three special summons from the hand, if you control nothing. That alone is reason enough, because as long as you can get another 7 on the field, you have two 7s. And if you can get a level 2 on the field too, you have full combo. And full combo gets rid of 2 cards in your opponent's hand and has a monster effect negate on yours. So it's not it's not weak. It's not weak at all. Uh, cashier Tier Element. Tier Elements Cash Tier is essentially just Dragon Maid, except bigger and stronger. Uh, and it's a quick effect from your hand, which is cool. Very, very cool. Only one Darkness Metal, just because we run Soul. It's also kind of cool in this deck. I just like it. Uh, one Cash Tier Birth and one Preparations. Dark Dimensional Soldier uh, grabs a Banished Dark Monster. It doesn't really come up too much. In fact, I kind of just made this guy most of the time just in defense, and he just kind of sits there as like a backup option. Not the greatest thing in the world. But it does give you an opportunity to grab back a Banished Dark Monster, which could come up. Stardust Dragon just allows Axel Synchron to be a quick effect. It also is a good Synchro monster, just in general it stops like Raigeki and Lightning Storm and stuff like that. And it can be just used with Axel Synchron Dragon just to get an additional dragon in the graveyard, if you need that. Uh, Psyframe Lord Omega is the most important one. It gets rid of two cards in your opponent's hand, and that is like amazing. That's like reason enough to run it. Also puts cards that are banished back in your graveyard or cards that your opponent has banished back in their graveyard. So let's say for example, you banish a card in your opponent's hand and then you bring back Omega using a Bestial Dispatter. And then during, you, you don't banish another one and then during the standby phase, you put whatever card you banished from your opponent um, into their graveyard. They're not getting the card back, it's just gone. So yeah, it's a kind of nutty card. It's kind of at why it's at one, it's a little too overpowered. Also, it's not a hard one for turn at all if you, if you have, like, in theory, just bring it back infinitely, you can just get rid of all of your opponent's cards that they have in their hand. Um, Draco Berserker is a disrupt during your opponent's turn, but it's also a super offensive, powerful card during your turn. That's the main reason I run it. Axel Synchron Stardust Dragon is very important, only if you have a level 2 tune in your graveyard, so that you can uh, go into Bestial Dispatter, who's, uh, like, the main boss of the deck, in my opinion. Virtual World Kyobi Shenshen is just a macrocosmos, but it also puts your banished monster back in your graveyard, and also it's kind of a dragon ruler in the graveyard. It has like this super weird synergy with the deck that I don't understand, but I do like that I have that. Uh, and then Bestial Disc better. It's just bring back your Omega, also negate opponent's monster effect. That's essentially it. Big guy's only in here because of the opportunity in like turn two or three that you want to take an opponent's monster you can and you have that option in your extra deck as long as you have two sevens on your field you can always take an opponent's monster as long as the effect doesn't get negated uh, galaxy tomahawk is a combo piece extremely important i hate that the animation's slow but this card is so powerful and this deck would change completely if this card got banned one billion percent mecha phantom beast draco sack is essentially galaxy tomahawk but it doesn't bring out like level six tokens it only brings out two of them and not like five of them oh you know it's like a, a little weaker you know it's a little weaker but it also acts as like a defensive card because you can pop a card if you want and it can be offensive at the same time 
Uh, Kashtira Shangri La is a purely defensive card. You just set it up and it acts as like an infinite advantage generator in theory because every standby phase you just keep special summon Kashtiras, run a heavy Kashtira package, and yeah, we just take full advantage of that. Sprite Elf, two of them, because if your opponent manages to get rid of one, well, you have another one and your deck's not dead unless all of them are out. Well, that and you lose every card in your extra deck because every card in the extra deck kind of does something important. Like Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon, it gets out the level 2 tuner out of your deck. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon says two machine monsters. The only way to bring it out is using Galaxy Tomahawk or Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. You just use this, you bring out the tokens, you can go into Aurorodon or Galaxy Tomahawk. More like better, I would prefer this one. Because then you go into this card and you still keep the tokens or some of them at least. Got a lot of. But yeah, uh, you special summon a level 2 tuner from your deck. Uh, you can also add a trap card from your graveyard to your hand. I mean, we do run a trap. And you can also just destroy a card on the field. So destroying a card on the field is probably one of the scariest effects. I've seen so many opponents when I just leave this on my board um, after I do the hand loop combo and they manage to like somehow clear my board or whatever. Uh, they always go for this card first. They, they just don't want to deal with me having a pop every single one of my turns. A pretty cool, pretty cool card. Uh, and the final card, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. How many times do I go into this? Rarely. But this card allows me to get rid of any one monster my opponent controls. Any! Even if it says unaffected. I think, in theory, I should still be able to get rid of it. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, I don't really know what I'm saying. Let me just get into the replays. I hope you enjoyed the video. I got a question for you down in the comments below. What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card? Uh, so starting off main phase one, just special summon the ogre and ogre grabs a trap, which normally wouldn't be really good, but I mean, we'll see if we can take advantage of that. I'll use a meteor dragon or chain of max C and I'm like, I'm going to negate that because I am going to try to do full combo. Uh, I say full combo, but I only have two sevens, maybe three sevens potentially on the board. But I do have cash to your birds, so I could maybe make something work. Let's go look at the top five cards of your deck, get rid of Zephyros, the Elite, just because most people only run one of that anyway, so they're out of it for the entire game. Galaxy Tomahawk, full token board, and I'll just speed it up. I wish this animation was quicker. It really needs to be quicker. Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, we can pop two tokens. It gets Ash Blossom, which really sucks because, you know, like, man, I, I don't want that. Regardless, whatever two more sevens go into the shangri-la uh set the trap and turn not the greatest board but we're not defenseless we have preparations along with shangri-la shangri-la is going to get negated uh by ash blossom so <laughs> kind of sucks and but it's kind of free to play the game the thing is if they activate a spell i can banish three cards in the graveyard and i'm like trying to like banish something in her graveyard because they activated the spell but i guess it doesn't trigger there and then it triggers here at the end of the chain i don't know man i'll just banish whatever's in her graveyard uh shangri-la will get rid of the zone and then they're gonna synchro into chaos angel uh get rid of the shangri-la which i mean to to their credit i don't think anybody ever runs a the cashier trap anyways and like outside of cashier decks right so i just bring back the xyz because the trap can do that you can just special summon any banished it doesn't say non xyz it just says anything so, yeah, well, Fenrir is on the field. Get rid of Jengar Law, get rid of his zone. Uh, we got, what, tier elements, cash tier, mill some more cards. We got a uh, Redox in the graveyard. We brought back the Ogre. Normal summon the title because Birth allows us to just normal summon sevens. And I'm like, I can do some other stuff, but I'll just beat down. This should be game. Okay, opening hand. Is that laundry? You know what? Oh, Maxi. Oh, fine, get one draw. I'll summon the Unicorn. Search, no Ash Blossom. Okay, I'm kind of happy. Uh, laundry, no Ash Blossom? Oh, yes! Build two cards. We got two rulers and an Ash. Normally, the Ash in any other deck would be useless, but it's a fire tribute, which means if we get Blaster, oh, yeah, we're going to take advantage of that Ash. And we got a Maxi in the grave. So, Redox is going to be summoned next turn. One billion percent. Uh, okay, I can't explain what happened there. You probably saw it more than me. Cross out Degs in there. <laughs> On my max C, they negate it, and then they don't summon anything, and they just say, I don't, I, 
I'm sorry, this doesn't, now, now that I think about it, this replay doesn't feel like the greatest in the world. But maybe they bricked, right? Maybe they bricked. Infinite Infirm? Okay, you know, but we'll, we'll see. Why did they negate the Max C, though? Why didn't they just hold on to it? I don't know. Uh, two monsters, unicorns get attacked. It... <laughs> You're asking a little nightmare, man, let's go. All right, well, finish the Tempest in her hand and one of the other people, and we'll make a Shangri-La, and I'm like... Why didn't I make Shangri-La under the sprite elf? <laughs> you know, they could just target and they target it. And I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I, I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Bring back Laundry Dragon Maid. What? Mill three cards. What are we going to Ash Blossom? Okay. Well, oh, and Triple Tactics. Okay. Oh, I'll just banish three cards out of your graveyard. Uh -huh. Let's see. Shangri-La, get rid of his zone. Nope. Never mind. And oh, Red Eye Soul bringing out the metal, and he can't be targeted, baby. He cannot be targeted. Oh, yeah, we were in that one. We were in that one. Our graveyard was loaded, and we had a banished cash here. So, boom. All right, now we got a tuner. So, we can do the hand ruler play, right? Well, hopefully, I mean, playing against Labyrinth, they usually set like 20 back. Never mind, they only set one, two, two, that's it. Okay, my turn. Well, we do have the Unicorn, Fenrir. I'll do the Unicorn first, just so I can see if I can get the Birth. Nope. Okay, well, we'll just summon that out. Banish the uh, Fenrir in hand. Tribute both. Go into Metal. They force the trap. They bring out this girl to pop the Metal. I'm like, okay. Well, we still have Tidal, so just banish two. Boom. We have Tempest. Banish two. Boom. Okay, Galaxy Tomahawk. I don't think they have anything they can do and i have a tuner in my hand so this is full combo boom tuner go into the eight there's omega and i actually um i actually messed up i should have went into excel synchron first here uh, i should have went this guy first and then this guy and then banished ringo worm I did the Ringo Worm combo wrong, and it might happen to some of you. So, I mean, I, I had to end <laughs> Draco Berserker, which isn't the worst card in the world. The card's pretty good. It's just not it's it's not the hand thing I wanted. It's just not the same. So yeah, we'll just pop a card using a Rordon because that's kind of nutty, right? Okay, two Kashtira Ogre, but we still have Laundry Dragon Maid. So let's just special summon one of them out and see if it gets Ash Blossom. Oh, it does. Well, that means that uh. Aurodon, I think it is. Shouldn't get Ash Blossom. I think that's how it works. Uh, there's House Drung. Uh, no, I can't even speak. Laundry Dragon Maid. We got the two sevens. We got the level two on the board. Uh, it's just, this is full combo. So I lied in the last video when I said, um, so I lied in the last replay when I said that was full combo. This is actually full combo. We're going to do the Sprite Elf line as well. So this is going to bring out three tokens. We just destroy two of them, bring up the tuner. Then we go Axel first. Uh, Aurorodon's gonna give us another tuner. Those are two level six um, monsters in terms of tuner. We have a level two tuner in the graveyard, so we can go into another synchro rate. And uh, yeah, so Cyframe's just gonna take out a card in the hand. Bestial can special summon a lighter dark finished, and so we do that. Cyframe can activate during the opponent's turn, and the reason I don't just quick fire the card out of the hand and get rid of it instantly is because during the standby phase, I can put one of my banished cards back in the graveyard. So I just put a Tempest. And then uh, they're gonna play a card, so okay, Omega, get rid of a card in your hand. Uh, Laundry Dragon Maid, mill three more cards. And they're gonna try to Pendulum. I'm gonna negate their uh, Sorcerer, which would have uh, put them in a way better situation. All right, here we go. So I have Soul and Metal. And that was one of my fears, because I was like, well, what if Soul, who I usually do to like special summon the Darkness, what if Darkness is in my hand already? Like, I have to special summon the six? That's not that good. Uh, I was still able to take advantage of Dragon Lord just being able to banish in hand, so I do that. And I'm like, wait, I can go into a Synchro 10 that could special summon Dark, right? Oh, Ash Blossom. Never mind. Okay, we'll just set the trap. And uh, <laughs> we have Maxi, drop it instantly. And we have one trap. We're going to lose this, right? Oh, Oregon's live twin as well. Well, one draw, two draws. Preparation, they're going to negate the original activation, not the effect to special summon. We're going to use a uh, tier elements that we just drew. Special summon the ogre back from the banish pile. Now ogre can look at the top cards of their deck, which I'm going to do as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, we'll see what they got. There's a red. 
a Nibiru, some spell. I'll just get rid of one of the monsters because maybe they only run one red. And red's kind of annoying to deal with. So, they're going to go Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf can bring something back from the grave. They're going to go that one. I'm like, that's interesting. That one, like, changes the attack value, right? So, I'm like, okay. Well, I have so many cards in my hand now that I don't think anything matters. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win next turn. And they're not killing me. Right? Right? No, they're not killing me. <laughs> they're gonna attack me with everything. I thought they had the spell. What was it? Gamma Burst or something? It like makes the attack really high for Link 2s and uh, Level 2s. They didn't. I'm drawing. Uh, just do Bestial Magna Hut first. That was a mistake. I should have waited for main phase so I could do the catch tier. Uh, whatever. Brain off. Let's play. Um, so we can special summon from the hand using preparation along with the banish pile. And I have some rulers so we can use the cash tiers for their tribute to activate the rulers effect to add other rulers. Going to Draco Sack, I'm like, well, I'm going to special summon a bunch of cards anyways and I'm burning and I don't want to just die to burn. So let's just pop that card. Uh, I, yeah, it's kind of getting annoying, you know. I'm going to do the carrot, negate the trap, destroy it. Well, that sucks. Good thing I still have the spell. Mill some three more cards. Ringo Worm will go into XL Synchro and Dragon using the Bistial. And yeah, we're going to do Bistial Dispatter. I still have Metal. So I'm going to try to bring it back. And I'll negate their effect because they're going to chain. And I brought back Metal. We'll tribute two for Fenrir, just a clear spot. Now we can bring back Axel, Synchro Group, Stardust Dragon. I think at the time I wasn't running um, Stardust. Yeah, there's no Stardust in the extra deck. Um, the only reason, another reason you would run Stardust is so that during your opponent's turn, you can quick effect Synchro using Axel. Uh, I didn't I didn't run a starter, so I couldn't even do it. Plus, I don't have a tuner on my field. But if I made Sprite Elf, I could have got a tuner easy. Uh, regardless, that, yeah, that's the deck. This is this is my new deck. Um, it's done. I hope you enjoy it. The full card list will be in the description down below. So this is the definite hand version. It's better than the previous one, in my opinion. And yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I hope you enjoyed it. This is, this, this is what I wanted to give to you. And with that being said, I hope you have a great day or night. Maybe I'll catch you next time. Later.